hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can use tiling to help us find the area of a rectangle. Tiling is just a way of using like a grid and drawing in our squares to be able to help us find the area of an object. So our learning goal for today says, I can use tiling with unit squares to measure area. So let's jump in and get started with the materials that you'll need first. So you're going to need your centimeter tiles. You'll need your inch square tiles. Okay, so those are what those look like. Your centimeter tiles, you can use little centimeter cubes as well. A ruler and your whiteboard. The centimeter grid template that looks like this. And then the inch grid template. You'll find those located in the module. So make sure you grab all those materials and then click play when you have those so we can get started. All right, friends, for the first problem, you're going to need 10 centimeter tiles. So you'll need the small little centimeter cubes to do this part. Okay, so you're going to arrange all of the square tiles in two equal rows to create a rectangle. So you're going to take all 10 of those tiles and create them in two equal rows to make a new rectangle. So go ahead and pause the video and then click play when, once you've done that and you're ready for the next step. Okay, friends, so here's what I came up with. So I have two rows of five. That is the total of 10 rectangles that we've used. So what's the area of your rectangle? Yeah, it's 10 square units. If you said 10 square centimeters, you're right too, because we're using our um, centimeter square tiles. All right, here's another way you could arrange all of your tiles. So we could do them up and down this way. We could do one row of 10. So we could do five rows of two, one row of 10. What's the area of each rectangle? Yeah, they're both 10 square units because we're using 10 of the centimeter tiles. Remember area is just what space each shape takes up. All right, so use your ruler to measure all four sides of the tile in centimeters. So make sure you're finding the centimeter side of your ruler and measure each side of your centimeter tile. Okay, so how can we define these units more precisely? Instead of just saying they're a square unit, now that we've measured them in centimeters, we can say that they are what, friends? Yeah, we can say they're square centimeters. What's the area of your rectangle in square centimeters? 10 square centimeters, awesome, because the area is 10 square centimeters. It takes up 10 square centimeters of space. All right, so now you're gonna take your grid paper that you have here, and you're going to shade your grid paper to represent the rectangle you made with tiles. So you're using your centimeter grid paper for this one, okay? So go ahead and take your shape here. You have two rows, a five in each row. I want you to shade in on your grid paper. So just shade it in like that. Look at that fun shade. Okay, so you guys are just gonna use your dry erase marker or a paper or a pencil, okay? All right, so pause the video. Shade that in on your grid paper. I'm gonna click play once you've done that. All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure to click pause. All right, so I'm gonna draw in two rows with five in each row. So now those two match each other. So I was able to use the tiling on the grid paper to be able to help me find the area. So if we're gonna remove a tile from your rectangle, what's the area of your rectangle now? So just of your rectangle with the tiles, not your shaded drawing, remove one tile and then find the area. Click play when you're ready to share. Okay, so I'm gonna remove one tile. What's our area now? Yeah, nine square centimeters, awesome. Okay, so how can we change the rectangle on the grid paper to have the same area as your new tile rectangle? So now that we have nine square centimeters over, in our rectangle with our tiles, how can we change our grid to show the same thing? Well, we can just take one away, right? 
So now, what's the area of our shaded rectangle? Yeah, it's still nine square centimeters. All right, friends, so now we don't need those centimeter tiles anymore. You need 10 inch tiles. So go ahead and pause the video, grab 10 inch tiles, only 10, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, friends, so you're gonna arrange all of the tiles into two equal rows to create a rectangle. So go ahead and take those 10 tiles, put them in two equal rows. Okay, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's what I came up with. What's the area of your rectangle? Yeah, 10 square units, because we have 10 of our tiles. Okay, so shade the grid on your, or sh yeah, shade the grid paper to represent the rectangle you made with tiles. Okay, so remember, just shade it in just like we did with the last centimeter tiles. Okay, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Two rows of five. Okay, so now we're gonna remove two tiles from your rectangle. What's the area of your rectangle now? So go ahead and take two away and then determine the area of your rectangle. Then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, so I'm gonna take away two tiles and then my area now is what, friends? eight square inches, you got it. Okay, so now we're gonna take how we can change the rectangle on our grid paper to have the same area as the two new tile rectangle that we did. So what are we gonna do, friends? Yeah, we're gonna take away two of the shaded rectangles, okay? And what's the area of our shaded rectangle now? Yeah, you're right, it's eight square inches, awesome. All right, friends, so let's look at this. So each square is one square unit. What's the area of the rectangle? Okay, so pause the video. You're gonna count that. What's the area of this rectangle? Okay, so what'd you guys come up with? Yeah, 20 square units. Now you could have counted each one of those, or you could have said, well, I know there's four rows and five in each row, so four times five equals 20. So you can use your multiplication to solve that too. All right, super job, guys. You did an awesome job with tiling to measure area. Make sure you head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.